Hey, what's up everyone? In this tutorial, we'll make a business card in Adobe Illustrator and I'm also gonna make a logo in a minute or so. And this is probably very useful for those of you who have low budget client work and can't say no to it. So uh, <laughs> let's just get into this. Well, I'm in Europe, so the size we use for business cards is 85 millimeter by 55 millimeter, and the bleed I use is three millimeter. Uh, this is obviously a landscape business card, and we will need two artboards for this. So there we go, and let's start by creating a shitty logo. I'm just gonna pretend the company we're making a logo for is called company so we're gonna do something creative with a C so there we go create a stroke of uh, let's say 30 I hate this stuff. Okay, there we go. First we need to expand this stroke. There we go. Now I'm gonna use the pathfinder to divide this. Let's just delete this. And now I'm gonna use these Live corners to make some rounded corners. All right. Let's create another circle in the center. There we go. Looks like an expensive logo, right? <laughs> Let me just group this. And now let's align this to the artboard. And I'm just gonna copy the artboard. Um, some people like to have some contrast between the front and the back of their business card. So you could also flip this around. So if you make this white and then turn this into a black color and now let's add a black background like so now you get a whole different look anyways that's it for the front now on to the back normally I do this stuff in InDesign where you have some nice margins but um, of course it's possible in Illustrator as well but I'm just gonna create some custom margins right yeah so six by six millimeter and I would just add these so I won't put my text too close to the border all right I'm also gonna do that for the other side now let's add some text David Hasselhoff. Um, yeah, that's a nice font. There's a pretty big gap between these lines, so we're gonna decrease this number. Ah, come on. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Now on to the next part company I just write down the company name um, let's say seven and a half points normally I don't really go lower than eight points but this font is pretty bulky so we can get away with it but um, don't go too low because you want people to actually be able to read this then type in the street name And this can be regular. Shoot in a zip code, two spaces, and 
maybe want to add the country as well. Alright, move that down. Now on to the next part. Maybe you want a part for the telephone number, email address and website. So in the Netherlands we have 10 digits for mobile numbers. I always uh, put in some spaces so it's easier to read. Now the email address would be info at company.com and the website would be company.com. Now the way they align is not really nice so we're gonna cheat a little bit. Let's decrease this. That looks about right. Now move this. Mm. I'm gonna change this. I don't know guys, maybe something like this. That already looks pretty cool, right? Of course you can also play around with some different colors. Maybe you wanna go crazy and add a black bar over here. Could work as well, right? But that's pretty much it. Now, maybe you wanna present this to your client and maybe you wanna use a mock-up for this. So what we have to do is add a background, make it white, bring it to the back. I never do it like this, I use shortcuts, but this works. Now select all of it, come on, see? Go to Photoshop, open up a mock-up like this one and now double click on this layer hit command V and paste the card. Now we're gonna scale it. And like I said before, I think the business card sizes are different in the US compared to Europe. So we have to, uh, it doesn't really fit, but okay. Now save it. And there we go, there's our business card. Now double click to change this color. And there we go. I mean, come on, we did this in around 10 minutes, maybe less. It's not the best work, but it looks pretty cool. And it's a nice way to make a lot of money if you can do a lot of these. And especially if you already created this template, you can use it over and over again. And you know, you gotta help yourself. If, if the clients don't wanna pay you, don't waste too much time on them. So something I didn't cover yet is how to save your business card as a PDF so you can get it printed. Well, first thing you have to do is make sure you've actually covered the bleed area. Um, so for now I'm going for this black version. So you have to make sure the background goes all the way to the red lines. And now you have to check which artboards you want to export. Let's see, this is artboard 3 and this is artboard 4. So we're gonna export those. So go to file, save as, business card, final. And instead of checking all, you have to type in 3 and 4. Like now save. I always use Sheets YK, but you can also use other PDF settings, that's fine. Um, this is important though. We don't need this, we don't need the page information. This can be changed to 3 mm and the bleed is now set to 5 but we've made a document with 3 mm bleed so just check this and it will show the document settings which is in the 3 mm. And that's pretty much it, just save it. And now once we check the PDF, it looks like this. So that's it guys, hope this was useful and I'll see you guys in the next one.